Hello everybody, I hope you are well today and today I just want to show you a very quick actually a tutorial and video course about how you can just um, install a packages, I mean a composer um, package from packages. So here I'm on package, I will uh, go on um, Firefox for instance and I will um, open a new tab and so here I will go to packagist here is and I will install a package I recently created for one of the one one of our course I created that package and the name is password passcode um, passcode is that one so we'll see how we can install this one first we'll create we'll create a really small um a kind of a shell a really small project so um demo project will be the name of the project let's go into it and here i will just do a composer in it to initiate um to create actually a composer.json file so the name of the vendor is actually the name of this one if i want to create a, a new package like it's a unique vendor name um in my case to be um p7 again for you to be a different name or oh, and i need actually uh or maybe i can just do yeah i will say p7 and uh, and demo project. So if you want, it's actually the same for me here. They say Fenway because it's the name of my user account in on my computer. Uh, I'm Fenway. I don't know. Um, yes. Um, oh, here. Uh, I mean, yeah. That's my user account. So I would say yes. Description. You don't need any any description. And I would just say yes, yes, yes for everything. Do I need a package? And here. You can mention the package I would like to install, and it's actually this one. So I will just mention this name here. Otherwise, I can just search for passcode, um, password, and they, they will uh, find it. And enter the version. Don't write on the requirement. Or leave blank. In my case, I leave blank because I don't need to mention a version. Version two, yes. Um, search for a package. No, I don't need. So now I say, uh, would you like to define a dev dependency? It can be a yes, and then I would mention, uh, for instance, PHP unit, because it's a dev dependency, and I have all of them. But for me, I don't want. So I press enter again, and then, and now I say no. Um, and here, SRC, uh, they ask me for to auto load. So that way you don't need to um, add require everywhere. They will just use the SPL auto loud PHP um, feature. So I say SRC and that's the namespace. So we have to use that namespace in my project. I say yes. And they will generate it for me. Everything that will be my JSON file. So you see I have this project. Uh, and I should have the required dev. I don't. Oh, it's funny. I don't see. Oh, yeah. And the require of the package. I just wanted to install is this one. So, yeah, it looks good for me. Uh, would you like to install um, the dependency now? I say yes. So now the dependency is installed already. Uh, for your information, I use uh, Composer version uh, 2. So that's why it's really fast. It's over 50% faster. So yeah, and that's my project actually. And oops, obviously I don't have Git yet, but if you see, um, I will go actually in that project now. And you see, that's my project. Uh, I have the SRC folder. And um, I think, um, oh yeah, I will have, I will run, um, could not update the dependency, run update. You see, apparently there was an issue to install the dependency. That's why I don't have the vendor uh, folder. So I will try to um, install it now. Oops. Uh, oh yeah, you see, I have a, a black tick, a, a back tick. So it didn't work uh, because when I copied, you always have to be careful when you copy it, uh, when you copy uh, this one, because sometimes you copy also the back tick here. 
So I will just do a um, composer update. And normally, um, invalid version string n. Oh, I think actually the problem is I have apparently an issue sometimes that happens um, in my composer.json file. Uh, let's have a look. Hmm. It's funny, it looks okay to me. Um, oh, here. That's a problem because when I say n, no, actually it added an n. Um, so that sometimes happens, it's quite rare. But for me, when I didn't want to install, um, when I didn't want to install the PSP unit package, I think I still mention an n somehow. And now here it is. Now it's done. So if you go again to the folder, you see I have the vendor folder and I have my new package, which is uh, passcode password generator. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this course and uh, see you in the next uh, video.